Hi, it's Dick Rochefort. I wanted to talk with you this time about uh, high altitude weather, and uh, I get a lot of times the question, what you know, is the cloud safe? And right here we, we show, on the little portable Garmin, we show uh, clouds. That in fact, looks like the airplane's just coming in to an area of, uh, of cloud cover. And in fact, if we look out the window, we see that so. This new technology is just amazing. But uh, uh, there's a difference. Uh, these clouds we're in here are um, high ice crystals. They're stratus for the most part, uh, stratocumulus and stratus. And uh, at this temperature, minus uh, 27 degrees C, they're just, there's no convective chimney, so there's just no threat to the airplane. And, uh, and that's, of course, with one major exception. And uh, this is something that a lot of piston pilots get wrong. Uh, so let's, let's talk about alternate air. And you can see that the alternate air in uh, the aircraft here is in the down alternate air open, bypassing the filter position. Uh, I think it's labeled, although I can't see them from my seat here. Alternate, it says there, and primary. There's a little detent to the left that needs it needs to be in, in either case, to verify and be sure that it stays in the position that you want. But, uh, of course, any time you're in the presence of visible moisture, regardless of temperature, your policy should be to open the alternate air. Let me say that again, because it's really important. In the presence of visible moisture, regardless of the temperature, open the alternate air. And don't close the alternate air until you're absolutely sure that there's no ice in the plenum behind the air filter, or until the turbochargers have stopped spinning, which means when you shut the engine down. Now the reason for that is we don't know the temperature in the plenum. And it's certainly colder than outside because there's a pressure drop across there. And uh, we see here on the next rad display, we do have some light rain. Uh, light rain in the air, light to moderate. Visibility one zero. Sky condition sitting over. Here comes my ATIS. Temperature one zero, two point zero six. Now altimeter three zero one one. We are Alpha approaching you, landing and departing runway three five right. Notice airman. Runway three five right, ILS and ALS out of service. Oil rig, two thousand five hundred feet northeast, runway one seven at threshold ninety six feet AGL. Alright, so there it is, information uniform. It's VFR down there, but uh, I may just ask for the ILS just to make sure, that, since it's up new to this airplane, I'll make sure that this system is working. So, alternate air on in the presence of this visible moisture and never close it until you're absolutely sure that the plenum is ice free and, and there's no way that I would close it in the air because there's just no way you can know that. Uh, there you have it. This is Dick Rochford. Fly safely. Train off. The reports were at uh, 2005 Zulu and 2008 Zulu. Okay,